COVID-19 mRNA vaccination will help protect you from getting COVID-19. You may have some side effects, which are normal signs that your body is building protection. Common side effects include pain and swelling on the arm, where you got the shot, fever, fatigue and headache. If you have pain or discomfort, talk to your doctor about taking ibuprofen or acetaminophen. To reduce pain and discomfort, where you got the shot, use or exercise your arm. In most cases, discomfort from fever or pain is normal. Contact your doctor if the redness or tenderness where you got the shot increases after 24 hours. And if your side effects are worrying you or do not seem to be going away after a few days. Immediate allergic reactions including anaphylaxis mostly occurs within 15 to 30 minutes of vaccination. Symptoms include feeling of impending doom, anaphylaxis with itching, hives, angioedema with swelling of face and throat. Other symptoms include confusion, dizziness, weakness, fainting, wheezing, vomiting or diarrhea. People who have had severe allergic reactions or who have had any type of immediate allergic reaction to a vaccine or injectable therapy should be monitored for at least 30 minutes after getting the vaccine. All other people should be monitored for at least 15 minutes after getting the vaccine. Vaccination providers should have appropriate epinephrine, antihistamines, blood pressure cuffs at all COVID-19 vaccination sites. If you experience a severe allergic reaction after getting a COVID-19 vaccine, vaccination providers should provide rapid care and call for emergency medical services. You should continue to be monitored in a medical facility for at least several hours. If you think you might be having a severe allergic reaction after leaving the vaccination site, seek immediate medical care. If you had an immediate allergic reaction after getting the first dose of an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine, CDC recommends that you should not get the second dose. Your doctor may refer you to a specialist in allergies and immunology to provide more care or advice. CDC recommends that people with a history of severe allergic reactions not related to vaccines or injectable medications, such as food, pet, venom, environmental or latex allergies, get vaccinated. People who are allergic to polyethylene glycol, PEG, or polysorbate should not get an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.